Welcome to Faith Therapy Session. This week, we're going to talk about what effect does anger have on your spiritual life? You thought it didn't affect you, but it's been affecting you for years. Let's find out how. Let's go. So for the past two weeks, we've been talking about anger. Anger is a common emotion that many believers struggle with and don't know how to manage it or don't know what effects it's having on them. They feel that this anger, that they can't let go of it, that they can't forgive. A lot of times this anger is from generations passed down. Your grandma was angry, your mom was angry, so now you find yourself being angry and you have no idea what it means and what to do. So what I wanna focus on this week is the effect that anger has on your spiritual life. And it does have an effect on you because anger that is unresolved becomes a bondage in your life. And it's affecting the life that God came to give you. The Bible says that Christ came to give us a life and life in abundance. What does abundance mean? Abundance means the overflow of something. And what is it that you're lacking? Joy, happiness, peace. Why? If you go to church every week, you read your Bible and you pray, right? Why don't you experience the abundance that Christ came to give you? Because there's something that you have that is causing you to be in bondage. And that something could be anger. So when you have to identify where this anger is coming from, if you haven't seen it, go check out the first video called Mom, God Hears Angry Moms. But the thing a believer, you need to come to the realization that you do not need to live your life according to the patterns of this world. You need to live your life according to what the Bible says. And the Bible says in Romans 8 that we are no longer living in this flesh. Our mind is no longer ruled by the desires of the flesh, but that our mind is now ruled or ought to be ruled by the leading of the Holy Spirit. So in one hand, you have the flesh. You have everything that the flesh produces, which is emotions. Emotions are not bad. Did you know that anger is not a sin? It's not. The fact that you get angry does not make you a bad Christian. The fact that you feel angry doesn't mean that you're not pleasing God. It's what you do with that anger, how you react to that anger, how you solve that anger that determines where you are standing at spiritually. So how is it that you resolve it? How is it that you handle it? Through the Holy Spirit. And what does the Holy Spirit do? The Holy Spirit came to comfort us and to guide us so that we can live a life pleasing to God. The Bible says that we cannot please God in the flesh. So if you're trying to resolve your anger, you're trying to resolve everything you've been through in the flesh, it's never going to be resolved. But if you give it over to the Holy Spirit and you say, okay, Holy Spirit, show me how to react. When I'm mad, show me how to stay quiet, not to press it, but stay quiet and wait for your leading. Wait for the words that you want me to say, not the words that I feel feel the need to erupt from me and speak foolishly or hurtful to those around me. That is one thing that you need to understand. Anger is not a sin. It's what you do that affects your spiritual growth. What do I mean? Are you going to react in the flesh or are you going to react in the spirit? And you have to understand that as a believer, the spirit is the one that should be leading you, the Holy Spirit. And the Bible teaches us that there are fruits of the Holy Spirit, love, peace, joy, kindness, gentle, self-control, patience. All of these are fruits of the Holy Spirit. So when you feel angry, do you ignore it? No, do not ignore it. Ask the Holy Spirit to lead you how to respond. When you feel angry, should you just say what you need to say because you're just going to be honest because you're not fake? No. You need to be a child of God and be wise in your response. Be wise in how you deal with the anger. Be wise in what you tell those that have offended you. Because why? Because you're a daughter of God or a son of God if you're watching. But it's the Holy Spirit that needs to be guiding you and not the flesh. So today I want you to take time and evaluate how have you been dealing with anger? Have you been dealing it with it in the flesh? That's why you haven't grown spiritually. But have you been dealing with the anger in the spirit? Then you definitely have seen a growth in your life. You're not the person you used to be. You're not that person that just lets out steam and says what needs to say. Now you're a person that speaks wisely and knows when and what to say. And if that's you, congratulations. Keep moving forward in your Christian life. But if you're the other one that says, man, 
I keep responding in the flesh, don't worry. God has you watching this video because he wants you to know that he's not done with you. You can still grow if you just surrender to the Holy Spirit. So evaluate where you're at today. And I wanna pray for you and repeat this prayer with me tonight, today, this morning, whatever time of day you're watching this video, repeat this prayer. And what you're gonna repeat, I want you to be conscious, mentally conscious of what you're saying because your words have power. And what you're gonna pray is surrendering your flesh to the guidance of the Holy Spirit, surrendering your patterns of thinking to the patterns of what God expects you and I to think of. So let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you today and I admit and I know that anger has been an issue in my life. And I have tried to resolve these issues of anger in my own understanding, in my own reasoning. But today I give them over to you, Lord. And I confess that I don't wanna live in the flesh. I wanna live according to your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, from this day forth, guide me in everything I say, everything I do, and every decision I make. Because Lord, I want to glorify you with my life in everything and through everything. Amen. God bless you. Keep moving forward and stay tuned for next week's video. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. Share this video with someone to bless their lives. When you can put a name to something, you know how to deal with it. But if you don't put a name to it, you'll never be able to know how to deal with it. You'll just think that you're okay by ignoring it. Tell the lady next to you, don't ignore it. Many of you are overstimulated, meaning that you're caring too much and doing too much for everyone else. You're being pulled in every direction that when it's time for you, the only thing you have left is to explode. How many of you have ever experienced that when little children, when they want to come give you a hug or a kiss and you respond, ugh, don't touch me, leave me alone, I'm not right now. How many of you have ever had that type of experience? How many of you, your mother reacted that way towards you? Don't touch me. Not because she didn't want to, no porque ella no quería, but because there was too much already in her to deal with anything else. You and I, as women of God, what does the word of God teach us? If you read throughout the Psalms, meditate on the word of the Lord. I will meditate on the goodness of God. I will meditate on the law of God. I will meditate on what he has done for my ancestors. I will meditate on what God has done before me. I will meditate on the goodness of God. I will meditate. Women of God, you will learn how to manage anger and not anger manage you.